Welcome to today's lesson on getting started with Pro Tools. Today we will take a look at creating your first session in Pro Tools. When you first launch Pro Tools, you will be greeted by the Quick Start dialog. The Quick Start dialog provides several options such as creating a new session from a template, creating a blank session, and to open a session. For today's tutorial, we will be creating a blank session. Expand the session parameters panel to see the advanced options. Let us take a look at some of the parameters available to us. For the audio file type, we will always use BWF, Broadcast Wave Format, a type of wave audio file. This format is more universal and most recommended for cross-platform use. The bit depth and sample rate options configures the bit depth and sample rate to be used for the session. This will affect the quality of audio files created throughout the session. There are two combinations of bit depth and sample rate that you should be familiar with. We use a bit depth of 24 bit and a sample rate of 44.1 kHz when working with most audio projects such as music production projects. We use a bit depth of 24 bits and a sample rate of 48 kHz when working with video related projects. There are situations where we may choose to use higher sampling rates but that is out of scope of this tutorial. For today's session, we will be using a bit depth of 24 bits and a sample rate of 44.1 kHz. We will check the box label interleave to create interleave multi-channel audio files in the session. An example of an interleave audio file is a stereo interleave audio file. Where a single audio file has two channels of audio, a left channel and a right channel. If the interleave option is not checked, Stereo recordings will produce two separate audio files, one file for the left audio channel and another for the right audio channel. These are known as multi-mono audio files. As for our I.O. settings, our input and output settings, we can select last used. We will take a look at creating custom I.O. settings later. Ensure that your settings have been selected correctly and click on the OK button to proceed. Pro Tools will prompt you for location to save your session folder. This step has to be completed as part of creating session. You should have a dedicated external drive for saving your audio project. Select a location on your external drive for Pro Tools to save your session. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be placing it on my desktop for easy access. It is important to name your session clearly. A good naming convention would be to use the artist name, followed by a dash as a separator, and then the song or project title. For this tutorial, I will put my name as the artist name, followed by a dash as a separator, and for the project title, I will name this as my first session. Once you have double checked your save location, click on the save button to create the session. Congratulations, you have now created your first Pro Tools session.